Elizabeth Bryant. For admission to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Although it's nearly three years since I was last allowed to see my wife by the military rulers of Burma, and it's now many months since I could speak to her on the telephone, last year she was able to ask me to represent her here today. She wants me to convey to you now, as clearly as I can, her sincerest thanks for this public recognition of the justice of her cause. Sue is inspired by the certain knowledge that her country will only blossom when the hand of fear is lifted from her people and their talents are thereby released. She believes this can only happen when all put aside their differences to establish civilian rule based on the popular will. It is an attainable goal. It is a role I've had to play of her immediate family who enjoy receive honors on Sue's behalf has taken us all over the world. Every day of the week in Burma's official media, Sue is vilified, calumnied, slandered, taunted, ridiculed, and insulted. In the cowardly way adopted by soldiers who have lost their sense of honor and dignity, she has no right of reply. While the turgid sewers of official abuse continue to flow, in the last few weeks, another message has begun to be heard from the military one that seems to echo her call for a political dialogue. I myself believe it reflects a dawning realization among many officers that Sue has been right all along, that unless all sides sit down to work towards shared goals by a process of negotiation and compromise, a national disaster is looming.